Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about dealing with uh, an extractor problem, but specifically due to uh, a dirty chamber, okay? Uh, so this is a gun that I've already got more than 10,000 rounds on. I know that the gun works, I know the barrel's good, I know extractor's good. Uh, but what I saw is I was starting to have some issues with extracting. And a lot of times people think that, hey, extractor is bad and they'll just change the extractor but usually a lot of times it's a, a, a problem with the chamber now i've had barrels that were like just brand new slightly out of spec and you know i was having issues but there's a barrel that i know is good okay so let me open this up so the issue i was having okay, on a barrel that i knew was good um i took out the cases that came out of this gun you gotta make sure that they specifically came out of this barrel because if it's a nine millimeter that came out of a different gun it's going to be slightly different um slightly different size and when you push these in they should come out pretty easy without much effort right so you push it in should come out this was not doing that earlier okay was not doing this so i would push these in pull it out i mean there's a little effort involved so, you know, I've got like a test sample of three over here. Pull it out, okay. Pull it out. Okay, so now this is good. But um, earlier, I was like, what I was actually having to do is, uh, before I cleaned it, I would put these in, and I would have to use the rim of the uh, a, a different case to kind of angle these out a little bit. Uh, so that's uh, it's basically just a dirty chamber. And, um, you know, initially like you look at it and it's like okay it doesn't look that dirty hey let me uh spray it right initially i put a little bit of spray in there run a chamber brush in there right uh that doesn't quite do it okay uh because it's it's that that uh dirt is really built in there so you're going to use a pick take the pick and run it you know you're going to see the the round rim where the chamber ends and the barrel begins and just, just run the point of your pick around that circle. Just clean everything out of there, okay? Clean that out. You might see some stuff come off over here. So that's the first step, okay? Uh, next step we're gonna do is you're gonna take a, a nine millimeter brush, right? And you're gonna put it in your drill. Tighten it up, put this on the fast speed. Give it a spin, put that in your barrel. I've already done this, but basically that's what you do. You can run it all the way through. And that's how you clean the chamber, right? And then after you shoot the gun, what you want to make sure is that these suckers, like right now, see how this is just falling right out, okay? Uh, this is actually cleaner than it even was a few minutes ago because when I cleaned it earlier, I really didn't clean it as good. Now it's like, now they're coming right out. Okay, so that's how you clean that. Um, so a lot of times people think that it's an extractive problem, but here's the thing, if you don't, if you don't uh, clean your chamber, it's gonna become an extractive problem because what's gonna happen is, uh, the extractor is working a lot harder to pull them out and it's not like it was jamming up every single time It was only jamming up like once I have every 20 rounds But it was taking a lot more work for that extractor to pull it out Which means that that's wearing out the extractor. Okay, so if I kept doing this um, You know that would have just kept eating away at the extractor and then this dirty chamber would have ended up uh, eating away at the claw of the extractor and then eventually I would have had to change that extractor as well okay uh, so so keeping your barrel chamber clean uh, will will help uh, preserve your extractor and, and basically once you start you know, if you got a gun that you know is working and all of a sudden you start having jams start having extractor problems you know figure out why okay uh, and it's most likely not the extractor it's most likely a dirty chamber and here's the thing you, you might clean it you might look at it and say oh yeah it looks clean but you really gotta take the pick and get in there right get in there right like that and then um, get a, a nine millimeter brush or whatever caliber you've got get this in there spin it basically you're polishing that uh that that chamber right um, and th that's what's going to get it clean. And then the test is use the same cases that you've been shooting, put them in there, pull them out, 
make sure they, they don't get stuck in there. Okay, so um, I, I, you know, this is a lesson that um, I probably learned in the last couple of years. Uh, and, uh, you know, the amount of shooting that, I, that, that these guns do has also increased. Now, interestingly enough, with the, uh, with the OEM Glocks, right, um, I, you know, sometimes I would go like 2,000 rounds, 3,000 rounds without cleaning, uh, and the gun kept working. I mean, usually by the time I got over 2,000 rounds, I would start to see some type of a problem, particularly when it rained, because when it, when it would rain, the gun would get wet, and all that residue, residue would, uh, uh, would turn into, into mud. And all of a sudden, I would start having problems, and I say, okay, I got to clean the gun. Um, whereas with these other guns over here, right, these guns that I built, um, it seems to come up more, like, sooner, right? If I don't clean these, like, you know, it becomes an issue sooner rather than later. Uh, and now, to tell you the truth, uh, it's, I don't, I mean, it's, I don't think I've done this type of a cleaning in a very long time so i probably have gone something like five thousand rounds uh on this barrel right I've, I've cleaned it in between but i've never really took the pick and got in there um but from what i hear the um the chambers of glock oems are a tad bit bigger and that's why people say if you if you um if you basically you cannot reload or you should not reload the brass that comes out of a um, out of a Glock OEM barrel because the chambers are a bit oversized. They oversize them on purpose so that they'll feed easier, so that they won't have jamming problems. So even when the gun, guns get dirty, um, you know you won't have those extraction problems, right? So the, the way they accomplish that is by oversizing the chambers a little bit. Uh, so I suspect I don't know for sure. I suspect that these aftermarket ones may not be oversized the way the Glock OEM ones are. I don't know for sure, uh, but just so something to just keep in mind. That that could be uh, could be an issue. I mean, I, I like I said, I know with the Glock OEM ones, you're not supposed to reload the cases um, that, um, that that get shot out of those because because the chamber's a little bit bigger, I guess they get stretched out a little bit more. Uh, I, you know, one of the things I guess you would have to find out if you buy an aftermarket barrel like I have here, like, uh, do they follow that same pattern, that Glock OEM uh, uh, pattern, the same dimensions, or is this more of a standard or more to spec 9mm chamber? I, and I don't know the answer to that. I'm just kind of putting it out there for you guys to consider. I mean, I don't reload a 9mm. I mean, I, 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 I just do so much shooting that I would spend more time reloading than actually shooting. So it's just uh, a lot better for me to just, you know, buy 4,000 rounds at a time. You know, my, my, my time is valuable. Um, I don't, I, the stuff that I reload is like 44 Magnum, you know, 357, 454 Kasul, 500 Smith & Wesson. You know, so I, I, you know, I reload only like the expensive stuff that I don't, I don't shoot in large volume. Uh, nine millimeter it's it's just cheaper to buy it in bulk so hope this video was useful to you guys uh so again if you got if you're having extractor problems it may not be your extractor it might be a really dirty chamber if you have a relatively new barrel and you're having extractor problems uh you might just have a, a chamber that's out of spec and i did cover that in the prior video I, i've actually over the last two years that i've been building these, these uh glocks uh i've had i've bought two barrels where the chamber was slightly out of spec, uh, and I just kept having extractor problems that, that got fixed when I just put it through in a, a different uh, barrel. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, uh, if you're not a member, subscribe on YouTube. I got Pocono Shooting, uh, Absolute Guns, and uh, the original Tsafa channel on uh, Odyssey. I'm uh, Pocono Tactical on Rumble. I'm Pocono Guns. Talk to you soon.